Stan Walker, baby, come back home. It is five minutes past 11 o'clock right here on 531 PI, bringing Pacific people together. The world's largest Maori and Pacific Island festival, the ASB Polyfest, gets underway today at the Manukau Sports Bowl in a different format than what we are used to seeing. The current COVID-19 setting means that the crowds and stalls will not be present this year, but the large stages will be, with hundreds of Auckland students set to grace them throughout the week, from today, 23rd of March, through to Saturday, 26th of March. This morning, we have one of the stage coordinators joining us to give us some insight into how they have had to adapt. Meleua Ikiua is a teacher at Alfriston College and the New Wear Stage Coordinator for the ASB Polyfest. Fakalo uh, and thank you so much for making time for us, uh, Meleua. Yes, yes, yes. New way in the house indeed. Are you on stage as well or uh, uh, are, are you not kicking off this morning? We're not kicking off this morning. We actually kick off on Saturday, 26th of March. And you will find us if we are, um, and like with all stages, just log in, register onto the ASB Polyfest website. And then you can see the action from the comfort of your folly. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, how many uh, performers have you got uh, for the stage on Saturday? And what time does the festival, uh, the New Year stage, uh, take to the air? So for New Year, it's very different this year. When we first started, we started with 13 schools. Omicron got into the schools and then we um, went down as far as two. So we decided, um, you know, rather not to make it uh, make it easy, I would say. And, and you know, everything like, uh, for example, one group, like I speak for Alfriston College only, we're a large school. We started with a group at 60, Omicron hit, and then, you know, we went down to 15 and we had waves of students and therefore, like when we start, we've got 35. We've only got two school performances, but we decided to shift the focus. We all embrace our culture in Wangahoa. So we're doing, um, with the host school, Alfriston uh, Nui Group, we'll open our stage on Saturday at 9 a.m., followed by we have 24 speech contestants. And then Manarewa, the, uh, the only other school, they will be closing, they will be closing the, um, they'll be closing the event with their performance. So that's how our Saturday stage will look. Uh, so sorry, uh, what time did you say again that uh, your college will kick off uh, the New Year stage on Saturday? New Year stage kicks off at 9 a.m. and speeches will start at 9.45 a.m. Right, uh, and then it will end uh, with the other college at what time? Uh, Manarewa College would be the last performance, uh, the only second school to perform at quarter past 10. And so there's only two, with our stage, there's only two groups performing this year. It's non -com um, no competition, but more rather allow the opportunity for those to continue to embrace uh, the new egg culture and also pushing for like this year. I'm very excited because this would be the first time we've had um, over uh, a great deal of uh, learners coming to participate in Wangahoo New Year. So for us to be over 24, we're really excited, um, especially when we have schools uh, representatives from Dilworth College. We've never had a, a representation from Dilworth College. Also first from um, Rutherford College, Glendowie College, and we have um, Ormiston College. I mean, you have our, the schools like Alfriston, um, Auckland Girls, Manorewa, we've always been in these uh, Wangahoe Nui competitions, but really excited to see the engagement from our Nui children from other schools. Um, that's mind-blowing and really excited that they get to give them this opportunity to be able, uh, you don't need to have a Nui group. 
but if you want to perform on your on the newer stage and um, take part in one of her newer competitions, by all means do so. So really looking forward to. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be pushing. Hey, would you like to put in a group for next year? We can start from somewhere. Yes, yes. Well, you should have still uh, made it competitive. Because uh, the worst that you can do when there are two colleges is silver medal. <laughs> it, did, it did cross the mind, but you know, with consultation with Amatala, the new group of leaders, we just said, no, we just give the opportunity instead of outright cancel, um, like say no groups, we just said, no, we'll still give the groups the opportunity to come and showcase their um their culture through song and dance and still participate so mm. participate because i think it's all new um learn it's n all new for us this year this online absolutely like we're at orange level yeah yes absolutely speaking level, uh, but to read. yeah speaking of being online uh sorry millie well, uh will the, some of those other mm. stages be uh performing simultaneously while you're performing and if so uh is there um a way that people can choose uh, between stages when they go online to view the ASB Polyfest? Yeah, when you log in, when you register and you log in, you get to see the times and like most of the stage performances, their times are there. There's not many groups performing, so you can sort of see, or if you do have a group, oh, this is on that that time you can sort of compare with okay what's on the other stages so all our programs are already online so you can, again just go to asbpolyfest.co.nz go onto the website have a look for the stage have a look at the program make sure you register because if you just log in and you haven't registered you won't be you won't be able to see any of the performances or any of the speeches on all the stages and this year we have the um Kapahaka at a Māori stage starting and kicking us off. We've got um, Samoa and um, Tonga and Cook Island stage with also our diversity stages. So I suggest if you are interested in having a look, have a look at the program schedule and then you just tap in onto their stage and see the live links. Uh, as far as... We're on time and, and avoid island time. As far as uh, Alfriston College is concerned, how excited are the children there? I can uh, for Alfred and the children are excited. Some um, like we have waves. Um, I'd say the year nines are really excited. The juniors are excited. Um, new to them, but they haven't experienced anything else because this is their new, uh, you know, new year to perform or to participate in speech competitions. Our year thirteens um, are quite sad. But they realise there was nothing we can do. It's just that that history, like since 2019 from the shooting, um, you know, and Polyfest was cancelled. Uh, 2020, COVID, um, again, straight out cancelled. 2021, we just made it. So, you know, I think that cohort who started back early, um, that are now year 13, they've sort of missed three years of it. So our year 13s this year are quite disappointed, but, and, and for some, um, for Alfriston College, that they're happy they get the opportunity to at least just say one more performance before they finish. And so, yeah, I would say that, yeah. The last time uh, there was an ASB uh, festival, uh, how many new WIN teams were there in that uh, last one? Was it 2019 now or was it 2018? Oh, we did have one in 2021. Yeah, we did. We did get the yeah. We just got in off 2021. Um, so, but back in 2019, we managed to do the Friday performance before Saturday was cancelled. Again, we always fluctuate between 11 to 13. Um, sometimes we go higher. That's when when our schools come back that um, participate every two years. So, with the new estate, we have some years where we only have about 10 or nine. Then following years, we're up to 13, 15. That's when our schools come back. They only perform every two years. Wonderful. Uh, last year, we had again 11, 11 schools last year. 
Oh, yeah. Well, uh, we uh, thank you so much for your time uh, this morning. Uh, we wish you all the luck uh, with things on uh, Saturday. Are you allowed to go in at all or are you not allowed to be there until uh, your turn on Saturday? Um, you're not allowed. Uh, only the children and their teacher in large, um, in charge, sorry, there's to be no spectators whatsoever. Only the performers, the speakers, the teacher in charge. And and I think that's another element that you'd probably have to look at because when they perform, they got to sort of like motivate and hype themselves up, thinking that the crowd's in front of them. But you're also thinking it's people watching them from home. So, yes. It's very new, but, you know, as us Pacifica do it, we've navigated uncertain waters uh, for quite a long time, new to this, and I'm sure we'll, it's a new experience, but we're going to be awesome, and we're going to make it happen for our children. Absolutely. We are indeed going to make it happen for our children. ASB, Polyfest, New Air Stage Coordinator, Meleiwa uh, Ikiwa. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I uh, appreciate it very much and uh, good luck. Look forward to seeing uh, the new wins on stage online on Saturday morning. You're listening to Early Edition with the NT5 to do 1PI, bringing Pacific people together. Here